Spaghetti squash. Rich in nutrients, low in carbs, great for any diet. Here are four ways we're gonna make it. The whole process is really simple. You take some squash, you cook it, cook some other stuff, you mix it together, and boom, you got flavor. Right, Sparkles? So there's really no reason not to make it. Follow me and let's get started. First cut the squash in half. Then take a spoon and scrape out the guts. And you could save the seeds and roast them, or you could throw them out. Drizzle on a little bit of oil and then just a little bit of salt, put it face down in a pan, into the oven 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 45 minutes to an hour. Use two forks to scrape out the insides and then get it out with a spoon or whatever you can. So the first thing we're going to make is bolognese. For this recipe I'm starting with a quarter of an onion. Here's the most efficient way to cut it. Two to three cuts inward and then just slice it forward as close to the edge as possible. And then just chop it while holding it together in place. Drizzle some olive oil into a pan at medium high heat. Diced onions into the pan. Cook until it looks like this, say five minutes. Throw in a solid handful of ground beef, approximately a quarter pound. Use any sausage you'd like. Just kidding, use Italian and only Italian. And squeeze out only half of it. Okay, put that aside. I'm crushing this garlic clove with my knife. Why? It saves time. Time is money. Now cut the clove the same way you cut the onion. Using these techniques cuts your mincing time by at least half. You see guys, good cooking doesn't have to suck and take forever. Follow my restaurant secrets and you'll be working smarter, definitely not harder. And above all, people will see you as a culinary pro. Okay, now that your meat is cooked, here's what we're going to add. The garlic, cumin, crack of black pepper, and throw in a little oregano some basil, and finish it with salt. After two minutes, deglaze with red wine. Once the wine is reduced by half, add in a cup of tomato sauce, a bay leaf, paprika, some chili flakes, and finally just some honey or sugar, or agave, just whatever's sweet. Now that it's been simmering for 30 minutes, taste that. The parsley better be fresh. This is heaven on a plate. You got the spaghetti squash, a little bolognese, some grated parmesan, and the fresh parsley. You need to try it. Bolognese is good, but if you don't like shrimp scampi, you're crazy. Here's what we're gonna do. Cut that garlic, same exact technique as before. This recipe is really quick. Get a pan to medium heat and throw a few slices of butter in there. First in the pan, our main star, shrimp. Now garlic, red chili flakes, and great South Bay seasoning join the party. You can replace that with salt and pepper if you'd like, but <laughs> it's just not the same. Seafood, butter, best friends, that's all you gotta know. Once the shrimp is cooked, throw in some chicken stock and lemon juice. The reason I don't give you specific amounts to add in is because you cook it to your preference. Once it's reduced, add in some cream, I do ricotta because that's what I had. At the end, and always at the end, you add in your salt and pepper. Delicious. Finally just mix in your squash, add a little bit of parmesan to it, garlic, butter, shrimp, it smells amazing. Parm and parse, and that's the whole recipe. Now we're making yakisoba minus coleslaw mix because I don't have it. In goes two tablespoons of soy sauce, red chili flakes, Optional, but this is my secret weapon. Korean barbecue marinade. A little bit of honey. Onion, medium dice. Four shiitake mushrooms. Cut the stems off.
You should always have garlic and onions in your kitchen because they last long and they taste well in a lot of recipes. So finely mince that clove of garlic. Thinly slice the scallion. Take your time, don't cut your finger. Once your pan is at medium high heat, add in your sesame oil, let it get a little hot, and then add in your onion and garlic. After two to three minutes, throw in the mushrooms. After six to eight minutes, spaghetti squash goes in. At this point, you would add in your coleslaw and any accompanying proteins. A little bit of honey if you want sweeter. That's all it is. Sesame seeds for garnish. Lastly, we're going to make a tomato and ricotta dish. You guessed it, another quarter of an onion. This time, cut it fine dice. Fine ripe tomatoes. We're going to dice it like this. You can also cut grape tomatoes in half. And garlic. And then we're just gonna saute our onions and garlic at medium heat with some olive oil. Add in your red pepper flakes, oregano, and basil and stir that around. Then goes in the tomatoes, white wine vinegar, and a splash of red wine. Once it cooks down for a few minutes, throw in your squash. And like always, season to your liking with salt and pepper. Just slap in the ricotta. And always make sure you're tasting it as you add in the salt so it's not too much or too little. For the ricotta topping, you're just adding in black pepper, salt, lemon juice, and your oregano and basil. It's that simple. Mix it up. Garnish it up and it looks gorgeous. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and above all, subscribe for more. If you like hummus, click right here to make the best hummus you'll ever have. Even if you don't like hummus, just try it. You never know. You might love it.